what is up youtube this is about here back in today with you guys another new match two video so today we're actually playing a new deck uh right here we're actually playing the spell counter deck so once again you know switching around we're actually releasing the match two video first uh right here instead of the deck profile and uh, that, so you guys, if you want to check out the deck profile, I'm just going to say it right here, right now. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Click the notification bell as the deck profile will be coming out shortly in a few days. So don't miss that out whatsoever. And once again, just want to ask you guys for your opinion right here. Um, what do you guys prefer more? Um, I've been asking this a lot lately, so I really, really appreciate your feedback and your comments. So be sure to post down below and let me know. And uh, yeah, what do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer the match duel video first? Uh, does that get you more excited and hyped up for the deck profile? Or do you guys prefer the deck profile first and then seeing the match duel video so then you guys get more hyped up for the match duel video? Uh, yeah, so I've been switching around uh, lately quite a lot, as you guys might have noticed, between my deck and match duel videos just to get a feel and see what you guys think. Just to be fair on uh, everyone and uh, some of you do like the match duel video first, so you know I'm doing that for you guys and some of you guys like the deck profile video, video so I'm also doing that for you guys as well so everyone gets some fair share but you know i want to keep it in a consistent basis so i you know just want to get your opinion and yeah really really appreciate your feedback so once again yeah today we're playing a new deck we're playing the spell counter deck and i wish i really really like this deck honestly it's really really interesting and it's very fun to play as well and we're actually playing against a old perfectly ultimate great moth deck against freedom one two five and uh, kudos to him that he was able to come up with a really cool combo with perfectly ultimate great moth as you guys are probably going to see very soon right here so we did start off first here um because we lost the uh, stone paper scissors and we immediately set the uh, apprentice magician uh, right in the beginning trying to start our apprentice magician chain link combo going and Right here, they're going to play Enchanting Fitting Room, and right here, you guys are going to see why this deck is really, really cool. So basically, what Enchanting Fitting Room does is you pay 800 life points and excavate the top four cards of your deck. Special summon all excavated level 3 or lower normal mo monsters, uh, normal monsters, and then after that, you shuffle the rest of the deck. And right here, they excavated 3 already, uh, which is really, really great, and one Michizuri, that's threatening to see. And they summon all three of their um, little mini inset monsters right here now as you guys know it's a perfectly ultimate great moth next so they are playing the hyper metaphorsis skill uh but they didn't use it they didn't swing into it and they probably do know uh they don't want to swing into this face down card so we immediately tribute uh, apprentice magician uh to bring out our dark red enchanter seeing that they have two cards in their hand we want to rip cards off their hand to prevent them from discarding two cards to bring out their perfectly ultimate great moth and right here, they actually ordered to charge us, which is also a really powerful combo. They just tribute Petite Moth and got rid of our Dark Red Enchanted. Now we're with an empty field and completely wide open, and it's very scary to face. So we set a uh, Spell Power Grasp, uh, hoping for a bluff. And, you know, we just have to pass our turn because there's nothing else we could do. And then they go for a common charity to get even more draw power right there. And, you know, uh, basically they just draw two cards and banish one normal monster from their hand. If they don't have one, uh, they gotta just send their entire hand to the graveyard. And right here they flip up the skill Hyper Metamorphosis. So it's the very first time on the channel seeing this skill being uh, in action and used as well. And uh, what this card does is uh, you can activate the skill while you control a level 3 or lower insect normal monster. Which he does, he has two right there. Uh, tribute one level 3 or lower insect monster you control just and uh, discard two cards from your hand. And you special summon one perfectly ultimate great moth from your hand or deck ignoring its summoning conditions which is really really good and any damage your opponent takes for the rest of the turn is half so right here they basically tribute their basic insect discard two cards and just bring out the perfectly ultimate great buff right here very threatening with 3500 attack and they swing in uh since we take half only so we only took 1750 right now but that's a very powerful monster to get, actually go over with because like even blue eyes will have a trouble against this one right here so we draw into our apprentice magician and then we're playing turtle for now defense just to set and hopefully uh see what we can do right here the tr tribute uh what are they doing? Oh, okay, so they use their uh, Hyper Metamorphosis skill once again to bring out their second uh, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth right here. And you guys can see how powerful this deck can sometimes be and very, very scary to face against. Right now, we're just very, very um, pressured by two powerful monsters right here. And he swings in for Apprentice Magician. We'll put another Apprentice Magician, Turtling, 
and they're probably very likely to swing in for another one right here. This is where this really cool combo comes in. We put our down. At this point, they were just thinking, uh oh, no more for them. It's gonna be the end. They have to pass their turn, nothing else to play. And right here, we're gonna do it to them. We're gonna flip summon time wizard right here and use our it's my lucky day combo right here to completely just nuke them clean right here two perfectly ultimate great moths gone wow can you guys believe it this is this is why you play it's my lucky day in this uh, in this deck time wizard combos very well and you guys probably just uh, witnessed how apprentice magician can stall for your time wizard and then you just wipe their board clean right here and swing it for a 500 attack direct attack right there and now we gain all the upper hand advantage from then on and they only can top deck a card they set a monster which is very likely just a normal inset monster uh for the most part i can't imagine anything so right here we uh with our turn we just tribute our time wizard you know his job is done great work and we start going with our dark red enchanters with spell power grasp with four counters that means it has uh 2900 attack at this point extremely powerful Ex nothing can actually go over it for now with uh they might be playing a third perfectly ultimate great moth but you know they're gonna have to gather quite some resources there and, and they probably don't have their combos anymore to play off from there got a windstorm and we're just gonna start pressuring them slowly bit by bit to see what they have and keep going uh they emitted defeat because they don't have uh nothing to use right there uh with the side deck right here uh uh, if you guys want to see the side deck, be sure to check out the deck profile that comes out uh, in a few days. Uh, but here, I believe we didn't side in anything. Uh, there's nothing in particular you need to side in against the uh, insect monsters or insect deck for the most part. But as you guys can see, it's really, really cool. I really, really give kudos to Freedom125 for making this perfectly ultimate great moth deck. Especially being able to bring two out is just really good. It really reminds you of the early days. Uh, not like the early days, but like uh, the, the, the earlier meta when um, the Speed 2 starter decks just came out back in March or, or February. Uh, where blue, it's a very similar approach to the Blue Eyes deck with Dragon Caller. You know, you just bring out your really big boss monsters, really two power, like a lot of powerful monsters right there. And then, um, but you know, if if you get screwed over, you're pretty much done for the game. You know, because uh, you don't have any more resources left to play. So it's a very all or nothing type of approach. And I think there's potential with this insect deck as well. Competitive, not much, but it's definitely fun to play and uh, pretty pretty interesting and really cool when you actually bring out the perfectly ultimate great mob. So once again, I believe we are starting first because uh, they lost and they get to choose. And uh, standard protocol of this deck, we set our apprentice magician as soon as we see it, you know, for it to to start the combo. So now they also set a monster and they start playing defense. Uh, not too sure why. That they probably didn't get the cards they need to do their uh, combo to bring out perfectly ultimate great mob. But also with the experience with the time wizard from last game, they are probably like really pressured at this point. So you know, not too sure what cards they probably side in against this deck. So they went for the common charity uh, to get more draw power. And they go for basic insect and the fly, and they go for the hyper metamorphosis right here, discarding two cards once again and bring out their first perfectly ultimate great moth. Now they swing in for into the apprentice magician. You know we're not worried. Uh, we go in and uh, go for crystal seer this time, uh, so that we can grab a card. Uh, not not uh, time wizard because if we did time wizard, their uh, wing cleaver actually has high enough attack to destroy our time wizard. So we don't want that, and we only play one in here. So we don't want to lose our trump card against this deck. So we go for crystal seer and see what we got. Uh, we went for the windstorm choice um, and send a legion fiend jester to the uh, to the bottom of the deck since we have one already in our hands. So we're not worried about it. Uh, Went for the Legion uh, Fiend Jester, so we can want to destroy that Wind Cleaver right there and swing it for attack for a little bit of damage. And they ordered to smash right here. And that's definitely a surprise. So, you know, what order to smash does is you target one level to a lower non token normal monster you control, tribute that normal monster, and if you destroy up to two spell trap cards your opponent controls, which is really neat and really, really good, honestly. You know, uh, when you're about to, you know, especially in this particular situation as we're trying to swing in for the attack they just need to tribute it save their uh basically you know save their monster in a way i guess or save their resources and we won't want to attack anymore so they pop both of our windstorms right here really easily and of course yeah we don't want to redirect our attack and attack into perfectly ultimate great moth because much higher attack now we're probably screwed 
So now it's their turn and they're gonna start attacking aggressively into us and, and we take a lot of damage. 2200 damage just from that one attack into Legion Fiend Jester. So that is definitely painful overall. Uh, we shuffled our deck because uh, just to confirm that we didn't have any uh, monsters to, to to search for and we got into our one they want right here. We set it as a bluff and pass our turn again and hoping we want them to attack into our apprentice magician so we can actually do our time wizard combo they do swing into it uh, as as we expected them to do so and there we go time wizard time magic coming up in next turn as you guys witnessed already so now our turn we draw in and we're going to do our skill right there we pay the a thousand life points we don't want to risk it whatsoever because if we risk it it's going to be over for us so we have to do it no matter what so we pop it and then michizuri us right there Wow. Uh, but we still have a normal summon, so we're going to bring out Legion Fiend Jester right here and swing in for a direct attack. Uh, kind of thought we could have uh, did the Wonder Wand right here, but uh, kind of didn't want to just yet because we still want to keep it as a face down, just as a bluff. Yeah, just for the reasons, but maybe we should have went for the Wonder Wand. Uh, Enchanting Fading Room once again paid 800 life points and milled, and they went, still were able to mill two. Uh, normal inset monsters and they play, probably do play quite a lot of that in their deck right here so they can probably want looking they're looking to bring their next uh, perfectly ultimate great moth right here but they only have one card in their hand so they can't do it and uh, now we draw into our draw of Avarice which is really neat because uh, we do have uh, more than five cards in our graveyard and we can actually start recycling our resources from there swing into the uh, wing cleaver they order to charge us right there uh, tributing their basic insect and now we're left with the open field. I uh, should have set Magician of Faith honestly, but um, you know Very very uh, poor mistake that I made. Yeah, and like I said should have set Magician of Faith now That would down to 100 life points if they summon the monster there or they well, I didn't know why I didn't go for a uh, perfectly ultimate great moth Right there, but if they did, they could have won. Uh, but I remember, I kind of remember why they didn't, because uh, I'm going to reveal it in the end, towards the end right here. Uh, so now we draw our because we want to get some cards back and recycle our stuff. We're going to definitely want to recycle our time wizard because we're going to might want to use it again uh, against the perfectly open the great enough because there's no other way for us to destroy it, honestly. Uh, we set um, a dice spoon as a bluff once again and Legion Fiend Jester with Wonder Wand finally this time. Uh, giving up up to 1800 boost attack right there. So we swing into the wing cleaver and they start taking damage right there Pass their turn with three cards in their hand and uh, They're using white elephants gift I still don't understand why they didn't use hyper metamorphosis unless there's only one simple reason that one card They have on their hand is perfectly ultimate great moth and it's a huge problem now They're setting cards uh, probably as bluffs, uh, but we've got the upper hand right here So we're gonna swing in for the attack right there and um, yes, as, as we confirmed, it's just a Mishizuri in order to smash. And right there, like I predicted, they have a perfectly ultimate Great Moth in their hand, which is really unfortunate that they had it on their hand, because if they had it in the deck, they would be able to bring it out, and they would probably have won this duel. So, you know, with this match duel in the end, uh, we came 2-0 with this deck. I uh, really, really like playing this uh, Spellcaster uh, spell counter deck overall and yeah, what do you guys think about it? Like do you think guys think this has competitive potential as well or uh, What sort of potential? Yeah, this deck would kind of have um, Yeah, so as always uh, thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this match duel video and you guys love these match duel, match duel videos Be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the Evolve channel for more awesome and epic uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! speed duel TCG content on here as well and also you guys uh, definitely click the notification bell uh, to, so that you don't guys don't miss out on the deck profile that is coming really soon in the next day or two as well you don't want to miss that out at all so then I'll be talking about uh, how I built the deck and why the, like, why the reasons I play uh, run these specific cards in the deck overall as well also comment in the section down below uh, what do you guys think yeah really really appreciate your comments and feedback once again asking you guys do you guys prefer do match do videos or do you uh, being released first or do you guys prefer um, deck profile videos being released first so you know once again i would really appreciate if you guys uh let me know and post your comments down below as always you guys thank you again so much for watching and supporting the uh a vault channel you know trying to aim into a thousand subscribers and you guys have a great day great night wherever you are and this is a vault signing out